Hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the title of the video that you already read. There are one of two reasons why you're here. One, you are a fashion person and you were genuinely curious about this combo because you're seeing it pop up more and more and you wanted to learn how to style it from pieces in your own wardrobe. Or two, you were curious as to why YouTube was recommending you a video with such a weird combination and out of morbid curiosity, you clicked on it to see what weirdo is doing this in real life. Hi. I'm Maya, and I'm that weirdo. <laughs> if I see you in this combo in real life, I will start frothing at the mouth because this is just so good. So today I thought I would go through how I make an outfit with this combination, walk through my styling process, because if I am anything, I am not one to be consistent with the video formula. And also I thought it would be fun to chat, talk, hang out, those are all synonyms, spill some tea. Who knows what'll happen here? We're first gonna grab ourselves the most casual granddaddy of them all. I'm first gonna grab a pair of jeans. Thrifting jeans is just the bane of my existence because for some reason, they just never seem to fit around both my hips and my waist. And I don't have that kind of money to be buying jeans at full price at a regular store. So I have about three different pairs of jeans that I'm working with, which is a good amount of jeans or even pants to own in general. So don't feel bad about not having all these things or being able to buy all the different types of clothes that all these like influencers or Instagram people have, because that is not normal. Most people have a couple shirts, a jacket, a pair of pants, um, socks, underwear, all that jazz. <laughs> so these are the jeans that I typically wear. They are more of a baggier straight fit. They're the most versatile for my style. I can lift my legs a good amount. I don't know, they're the most comfortable. I feel cool. So yeah, this is, this is what I'm rocking with. I really want to emphasize that any shape or style is going to work for this combination. So like cargos, baggy, straight, gay, bisexual, we love and accept all types of pants on this channel. Now I'm just going to go for this white mini dress. When I style this, I try to keep in mind that I want to pick something that's more A-line or flares out at the bottom. Wearing something that's more fitted, like a bodycon dress, is going to make it look more wrinkled or frumpy just because our denim is thick. <laughs> Fabric like denim is a lot thicker, which will make layering a little bit more challenging in that aspect. Um, honestly, that's the main takeaway. If you want to click off this video, go ahead. You already got all the information you need. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye bye <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Please don't leave. There's still more video and I think it's somewhat helpful. <laughs> now, if you're more into minimal fashion, I think a black dress and black jeans like this would look super sick. Maybe with some silver accessories? Transition! To stay weather appropriate, I think a leather jacket like this would look super cool or an oversized jacket. I just didn't pick an oversized jacket for this outfit because I really like this ruffle detail and I didn't really want to cover it up. And then I actually think it looks even cooler when it's zipped up like this. I mean, yeah, it's not the most form flattering, but I just look cool, you know? Honestly, I'd probably wear it without the jacket, not for fashion purposes though, and this might be oversharing, but I run super fucking hot. So even when the weather right now is like 40 degrees and rainy, I still have to wear a t-shirt because otherwise I'm just going to pass out from the heat because 40 degrees feels like fucking normal to me. Um, is that normal? Is that unhealthy? Maybe I need to see a doctor. What am I talking about in this economy with my American healthcare? <laughs> Oh, silly me, what was I thinking? If you want to be more subtle and have it less blatantly obvious that you're wearing a dress with pants, you can always wear a maxi dress instead. This whole style does have some cultural significance while also being a staple style from the 2000s, which we all probably know it from. This time, I went for these flowier pants because I wanted something that was flowier and had a looser structure than denim. I push jeans with dresses a lot, but honestly, I think I prefer the look of these flowier pants rather than jeans just because a dress and jeans is such a harsh contrast of casual and formal. So wearing a dress with flowier, looser pants with less structure does tend to go with a lot more of the dresses that I own. So wearing dress pants or really any type of pant that's more sleek and less structured than denim can give you that more sleek, chic, high fashion streetwear look. I remember that puff sleeve fairy dress era that we had. Well, I still have my baby. I think I got her at Ross for like 20 bucks and, and get this, and come here, come here, come here. Get closer, 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 get this. She has pockets. To accessorize, I just wore this BDSM looking harness, but I think this would look super cool with like a corset or one of those pirate belts that has all of those loopies to hang like your sword or potion bottles. You know what? I feel super cool and badass in this. 
I don't know if this was just me, but when I was a kid, I didn't have very many friends growing up because I was really shy. I mean, I'm still really shy now. I can't really film videos when my roommates are here because then I just get too nervous and embarrassed to be talking to myself for three and a half hours in my room alone. If you couldn't tell, I didn't have very many friends growing up, but I did have fantasy novels. Those female protagonists had me in a fucking chokehold, and I would not be coming up with fanfic, but entire cinematic universes about the different books that I was reading with these women just because I thought they were so, so cool, and I wanted to be just like them, and dress like them, and act like them, and just kind of become them. <laughs> but I remember really, really wanting to be like a royal knight or an assassin, but an assassin in a fantasy sense and not in a real sense because blood makes me faint. Oh yeah, and also like the ethical implications of being an assassin. <laughs> that too, that's important too. But I would just stay up all night writing these stories or going on Tumblr looking at all of this fan art that I was just way too busy for friends anyway. I had way too much to do. So yeah, that's where a lot of my inspiration comes from. Sheer pieces have always had their moment in fashion and I definitely bought into it back in the day. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna wear this sheer slip or lingerie top all the time because these fashion girls and Instagram people are wearing it and they pull it off and they look so good and it's gonna be around forever and it's so versatile and for everybody. Yeah, no. Yeah, those tops tend to be really finicky and I really like my clothes staying in place. And your girl is also flatter than a charcuterie board, so it kind of just slip and slides off of my body. Also, I am on the taller side, so a lot of times slips just come to around my hips. <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. And they usually just don't cover the necessary bits that need to be covered. So basically the moral of the story is to wear clothes that fit you and feel good. Whoa, who would have thought? So because of that fact, this is the lingerie that I buy. These Ebenezer Scrooge honk shoe ass nightgowns. So this slip is actually really fucking dirty because I found this in a dumpster in San Francisco. Yeah, I thought all of the clothes on Kate and Ashbury are so cool but so damn overpriced. So I was like, you know, what if people just throw away their clothes in that area? And they do! <laughs> These pieces are also just so deceptively easy to style. You can literally wear a normal ass outfit. Like here, I'm wearing these jeans and a t-shirt. And holy shit, it looks like, you know, fashion so good, so good, so well. And of course, we can't forget about our accessories. So I'm gonna go for my favorite accessory of all. Uh, fuck. Eight glasses of water a day. Okay, in reality, this is actually tea. But I really wanted to tell you about this tea because it's so good. It's actually this blend of elderberry and rose and I think apple and all together it actually just tastes like lychee which is so good and so amazing and I'm sorry this is this is literally a fashion video and I'm talking about the tea that I'm drinking but to be fair I did say I would be talking about tea spill some tea who knows what'll happen here so here we are we go for something more edgy but I kind of wanted to go in a more sporty direction so I just have this athletic looking nylon bag and these black chunky sneakers that are bordering on the line of snow boot territory and then i also wanted to add these little pigtail loopies because i don't know i thought it would look cute and there we go this would be my outfit for if i was ever featured in a fruits magazine actually probably not because i'm not actually that good at fashion yeah if i worked at a fish store it would be called the bass amateur shop instead of the bass pro shop I don't know, that wasn't that funny. Actually, no, that was hilarious. That was hilarious, I'm keeping that in. So the last couple of years have been the year of the skirt. So let's go for something that I'd like to say that a lot of people have, but in reality, it's probably just a lot of people on TikTok because the TikTok algorithm definitely makes you think that something is really, really trendy, when in reality, it's just trendy in the city or online. Some random girl in a random town in Idaho is not going to have a bloquette core <laughs> aesthetic. Anyways, the piece of clothing that I'm talking about is a plain white skirt. Really, you can use any skirt, but I'm just using a white skirt because it just seems very neutral. I feel like a lot of these outfits have been on the safe side in terms of silhouettes, so we're going to up the ante a little bit. Ugh, this skirt was not made to go over pants. There we go. I also just wanted to include more variety or different types of clothes that people may have, and I think a lot of people have some kind of button-up or short sleeve button-up 
Let me explain. So, I have this like, blue and white thing going on here, and I wanted to carry it over into my top and my accessories. But I wanted to include some kind of pattern, so I just have this little white and blue striped button up. So this outfit definitely screams I am super into fashion, but I think it just looks so cool. I'm just a little cartoon character delivering mail with my little animal sidekick, and we have little magical side adventures, you know? That's what this whole, <laughs> that's like the vibe that this outfit is giving, right? Also, my skirt was way too long for these jeans to even pop through. So I just <laughs> tucked my skirt all the way up to my bra just so I could make it like the proper length that I wanted so you'd be able to see the jeans. So you know, life hack, if your skirt's too long, just <laughs> wear it as a dress and then it'll be the perfect length. Now, this one is the most adventurous of them all and I'm gonna be honest, I've never actually tried to make an outfit with this combination. So we're gonna style it together right now and if it doesn't work out, then I'm just not gonna keep it in the video. Oh well. You're probably wondering, what combination are you talking about? Because I haven't even said it yet. I've just been saying that it's difficult. But bam I'm talking about the mini skirt. So I'm gonna try to style this little pleated skirt over these pants. Is it gonna work? I don't know. We're about to find out. I feel like this works best for really mini mini skirts just because it's almost like the same thing with the mini dress. It's like this little peplum that peeks out but for like a mid-size skirt or a medium skirt, for me, it's a little bit more challenging just because it ends at an awkward length, but I think that's fun. I think not having something that's flattering is really cool and really fashion. <laughs> I think having an outfit that you intentionally build that's not meant to be fashionable or appeal to fashion trends that we have now is super, super cool. And I think it's super admirable when people do it. So yeah, that's kind of the thing I have in my brain where I want to build outfits out of clothes that a lot of people have just because I want to try and be your little fashion guide to help you come up with outfits that are cool from things that you already have in your own closet. But I also want to develop my personal style and my personal style is kind of like I want to purposely <laughs> be not fashionable as my style. Like a little whimsical, a little like crazy girl. Like that's, that's the style, that's the vibe that I want but not everybody likes that style. I know that's not really important, having everyone like your style, but to some extent, I want to have an appeal so that people watch my little fashion videos. So I don't know, there's just this little like fashion dichotomy in my head where I want to appeal to an audience, but also appeal to myself and feel completely like myself in the outfits that I put together. So I don't know, um, I'm still trying to navigate my way through that. Maybe that'll just develop over time. Maybe all of this will just answer itself over time. And my fashion sense and my fashion journey will just become more nuanced and developed and cooler as I get older, which is probably the case. That's typically how it works. Maybe I'm a little bit crazy for thinking that this is the coolest thing that I've ever put on my body. So allow me to break down what I just did. I'm just gonna deconstruct this outfit and kind of put it back together. So I have this regular black tank that I put underneath because I mean, I need cover up my chest. This is a plain black button up and I knew I wanted to use this in a funky weird way. So I just buttoned up the last two buttons as you can see right here and then I just kind of did a dramatic off the shoulder silhouette here. This silhouette is really frumpy, really weird. So then I just aggressively tuck all of this fabric inside my skirt. It's a little bit lumpy, but you know, no one's gonna notice. No one's going to be looking at my, my lower back anytime soon. So I pulled it back aggressively enough to create this little like diagonal triangle-ish shape off to the side, one side of my body, which I thought, oh, this is so cool. But I was like, you know what? It needs something else. It needs one more element. And that is when I got the idea to add Ooh, this belt. But I didn't want the belt to go straight across. So I just buckled it pretty loosely along my waist so that it also falls at an angle. <gasps> I really like this, oh my gosh, wait. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is not necessarily cool fashion, but I just, oh my God, I think this looks so good. Also, the skirt kind of pops because everything in the outfit is black, and even though the skirt is gray, it's still that like one element of color that is coming out. But I think it looks so cool, and then if I just stacked silver accessories, that would look sick. Okay, I really like this. I know this is not going to be very popular amongst a lot of you. I don't know. I'm happy about this result. I think it's really cool. And that's the end of the video. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for watching. This was actually really, really fun to make. So if you like this format, I might do this more because this was a great time. Yes, I'm sweaty, but I'm also sweaty and happy because I got to come up with really cool outfits with you guys. So I would love to do more of this in the future. 
for maybe other fashion things that you want. Someone did request a cold weather outfit video, which yes, I will do that because I cannot dress for the cold for shit because I'm from California. So yeah, that might be coming up, but if there's any other styles you want me to explore, any other pieces in your closet that you think are impossible to style, I am your girl for that. I have to say the obligatory like, comment, and subscribe. And I heard that if you do all three, I turn into this little magical fashion fairy, fly into your room at night when you're asleep, and put together all of these outfits for you. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!